processing disorder is a difficulty of the mind uh, processing information going in, which then produces difficulties when the information comes out. For example, if a child isn't able to feel properly and their collar bothers them or the label bothers them, therefore they may seem like a child who's distracted, but they really are annoyed by what's going on with their clothing. Um, I noticed in my daughter from a young age, I noticed she would flap her arms when she would get really excited about any kind of social situation or anything was going on. And, you know, it's just something that you think they're going to outgrow, but then it's something that you can imagine doesn't exactly work really well in the social situation. It's therapeutic putty with little animals hiding inside. And she has to find all the animals, and working with her fingers helps her focus. Right? Miss Sarah gave me some putty that I use. Oh. Instead of getting mad that I have so much homework, I squeeze that or hit that and, or rip that instead of my homework. Get organized again, right? Okay. Now get all that to fit in there. What I really... Um, have been so impressed with with Sarah Stern and with the uh, pediatric occupational therapy um, area here at Good Samaritan is there's just a passionate interest in what the issues are for each individual child that I've seen and the idea of giving helping my daughter to develop strategies that work for her with her unique um, issues and then what she needs to do in her school situation and what works for her with studying and um, dealing with people on a social basis. Um, Sarah has helped her develop strategies that work for her. That was close. Breath before you start. 